Princey, mate, just following up from uh, our little sesh the other day, I'm gonna run through a couple of key things to help with your overhead mobility uh, for Olympic lifting in the future. Uh, mate, all you're gonna need is a, a box, a large piece of dowel or half length, and you'll need your body spanner because we're going to make two configurations. One is the shaft or the with the medium ball long pin in one end, large ball long pin in the other end. Um, and then you'll also use the medium ball with the long pin and the nude medium, because uh, that's what we're going to use for our thoracic extension for the time being. So we'll do six things, thoracic extension. Uh, this will be for your posterior cuff one, two, and mid trap thoracic spine soft tissue release. Uh, we'll also be using the stick for our shoulder full flexion range um, with our anterior and posterior pelvic tilting in a kneeling position. And then also our stick overhead uh, from our deep set lunge position. Uh, primarily, what I want you to work through first, actually no, we'll cycle through a series of, on the box, how we do this is we will kneel in front of the box, just so there's enough room, so your elbows can rest on the box, and as you can see, if I'm just kneeling in this position, I can anterior tilt so you'll see the curve in my back and posterior tilt so in this position i just want you to work through some anterior posterior tilts the important thing with this i want to i want you as well to think about your hip and your knee position i don't want the knees and the hips like so where the feet are together i want the hips knees and feet in pretty much a straight line so essentially, hips, knees, and not the feet, because the feet are inwards, so they're touching, and that means the hips will be externally rotated, so I wanna maintain those straight lines as well. All right, so starting with that position, hips, knees, feet in the right posse, elbows on the bench, palms back towards your face, because that's a um, an anatomical position. From here, we're gonna set into that anterior, posterior pelvic tilt. We're gonna get used to doing that. From here, we'll walk the knees back, keep their elbows on the box, drop the head down, and just sink the bum back as far as it'll go. And you'll notice, I'll go into a big anterior tilt. That's fine. I want you to hold that position because your elbows are getting locked in. And then from here, drop some weight into the elbows and try and bring in that posterior pelvic tilt and you should feel a nice deep stretch all through the back, through the lats, through the arms. And relax. Drop the elbows and weight down. Tilt again, pelvic tilt, so tucking the pelvis under and relax. Ooh. So you can do that without the dowel, or you can do that with the dowel, um, palms facing towards you to start with, hands together, again, palms forward. If your hands are together, we're internally rotating, all right? as where if we, their arms or the hands are further away, we're externally rotating, and that's what's going to be required, that external rotation to get a really good front rack position. Um, so yeah, start with your palms facing. As you get better, take your hands further apart. If it's a little bit tight to start with, start with your hands closer together and work it out. Then work into a pronated grip, Hands together, hands out, tucking, elbows down, tilting forward and back on the box and using the dowel. Um, it will create quite a lot of 
strength demand for that trunk and um, whatnot as well. So that's number one. Number two is our deep squat. So after you've worked through a whole bunch of squat stuff, I want you to get nice and deep into your squat, best you can, equal weight through your feet. Do a few remedial sort of squeezing the knees together, pushing the knees out, pulling the knees in, holding just to get your body right. We'll run through, um, don't forget if you can't make these positions, it's really important then to work through a, uh, or follow the hip opener, the knee opener, or the dorsiflexion or ankle opener, uh, which is a separate series. So from this position here, all I want you to do is go into deep squat. Holding the dowel, get your chest position in an upright, chin tucked, and just breathing. Start with your hands as wide as you need. Just slowly, slowly work the arms up and as far as they can go. So we're literally trying to push the hands away and behind us until they go as far as they possibly can. Once you're at your maximum, concentrate on the weight through your feet. Chest stays up. And then I want you to take five deep breaths in. After your fifth breath, tighten the glutes, tighten the trunk, and I just want you to stand tall, relax, breathe, reset. Cycle through that half a dozen times. You may feel a little bit lightheaded. Um, just stand, relax, gain your breath, and then we'll work back through, um, we'll do five of those puppies and then we'll work through into our posterior cuff one and two, mid traps, some thoracic extension. Um, and then we'll revisit exercise one and your deep squat position at the end. Now remembering um, Posterior cuff, bring the arm across the body. If your thumb goes into your armpit and you reach behind with your fingers, you'll notice that in that um, you'll feel the edge of your shoulder blade in there. So basically just the muscu muscles or the muscular system in through that posterior cuff pocket of the shoulder. Position one is the arm across the body. Position two is exactly the same, but palm up, hand over the head, working in those different areas. Remember, feel what it feels like, feel how it behaves. Okay, so take your time and explore. Uh, then the third position is back with the arm across the body. Medium sized ball on the, if the left arm is across the body, it's between the spine and the left shoulder blade. And we work into those spots against the wall. Once you've found your spot, hit it. Let the other hand go, give yourself a big cuddle and just work into those tight areas in these positions. Once you've found an area, feel how it feels, feel how it behaves. Now this spot I'm hitting right now goes up into the temporal of my left head. From here you can tilt your head forward and turn away and feel if there's any change. Spend about five minutes in each area. You'll probably spend five minutes on these other two exercises. Um, and then the, third, the other one I want you to do as a series is just uh, create the two medium sized balls with about a, a, a thumb width in between. Just place them on the ground and literally just going to sit in that mid thoracic spine and just let your body arch over. 
Now what you'll see here as well is you'll notice I've increased my pelvic tilt to get the arch. So what we can do, if you get an increase in your anterior tilt, hold that position in your thoracic spine, palms are up, and then try and actively tilt and flatten your back. We'll increase the pressure. With your feet up, you can just do a little body rock like this. We're only rocking a couple of mil. Or if you lower the feet down, use the foot paddle to create that rock. And just incrementally work your way up as we go. Now, position one, arms crossed, giving yourself a big cuddle, rocking side to side, targeting left and right. A little bit of an oscillation. Position two, crucifix. Position three is actually up into an overhead. So you can work through that overhead position. <sighs> Hit that, make sure the hands and the elbows are touching the ground. If you feel like your back is arching, again, really try and tilt that pelvis backwards to flatten your back. <sighs> Breathe and just let time do its thing here. And the fourth one here is up into a full streamline, but I don't want you in a streamlined position if your arms are hanging in space. Your arms or hands at least need to be in contact with the ground. So if you want to increase your thoracic spine, shoulder mobility, um, and work specifically on becoming better in an overhead position, uh, there's six things that you can work on. It's probably about a half an hour routine, um, mate it will sort your shit out in uh, a few weeks. You, you won't know yourself. So work hard on that for me and I'll catch up with you next week. Cheers, brother.